this particular chapter is basically on expanding the palette and the various characteristics of pigments. The first thing I wanted to do is talk a little bit about the color wheel and how I locate pigments on the color wheel, how I locate colors. Then I'll go to a diagram or two. So uh, when you look at this, these are colors that you're going to use as a painter. But the question is, we've got all these semi-neutral colors in here. We've got colors that uh, are what we call earth colors, but they're actually not neutral, they're not pure hue, they're semi-neutral colors. How do we locate those colors? Instead of buying a myriad of colors here, you can actually learn to mix these pigments. And uh, it's really not that difficult once you uh, pay attention and uh, focus on it a little bit. For instance, a raw sienna, which is right here, is just a mix of a cadmium orange with a touch of ultramarine blue, which is its complement if you drew that line. So it just brings it down and you've got a raw sienna. If you're looking at a burnt sienna, which is right here, a burnt sienna, you can mix that anywhere you've got any of these colors going across or going down. So here I've got a cadmium red orange, and it, as you see, right along that line, it goes over to a viridian green or a thalo green. So I just take a cadmium red orange with a little green, and I've got a burnt sienna. I can also locate it this way, going down. I can take the cadmium orange with a little magenta and get the same color. Now, if you look at these pigments here, like a cobalt violet and a manganese violet, a cerulean blue and a manganese blue, you can see there's a very distinct granulation. It's very, very uh, clear. That's because these pigments are a little coarser ground and they're heavier, so they really sink. Now you get to an ultramarine violet, an ultramarine blue, a cobalt blue deep, they also granulate, but you can see, you don't see the granulation quite as much. That's because they're ground just a little finer, they're not weighing quite as much, so they don't sink as quickly. But I use these a lot in my paints, and we'll uh, show you examples of that here in a little bit. So I'm going to start in, and I'll start with that same neutral, working with the same two colors. Okay, So the same uh, magenta and permanent green light to give me a neutral. We'll just get that neutral gray to start with. And I'll lay that in, take it right across. and move this right down. We'll just push that right in there. And why not, while I'm at it, just jump in and place in a little of that cobalt violet. Just a little. You know, it'll just kind of give it a little texture. See what happens with it. We'll take it down a little further, but this time, why not take that cobalt violet? Maybe I'll go with a little of the cerulean. Those two colors. These are both granulating colors. The more, the wetter I put that color down, the more it gives the granulating color time to settle and uh, sink. So that's, uh, that's important. So I'll just uh, put this down fairly wet. 